Dear friends, we just stopped near our teacher and uh, we did not uh, cross this limit of uh, grandfather Ugrasena and teacher Sandi Panimuni. Sandi Panimuni, you all know, Sri Krishna's teacher along with uh, Kuche Ludu. Sri Krishna enjoyed his childhood under the guidance of uh, the teacher Sandeepani. Uh, these were some of the arguments by Arjuna to Krishna. It is better to live in this world by begging them to live at the cost of the lives of great souls who are my teachers. Even though they are avaricious or avaricious, uh, we can't say voracious eater Bhima and uh, other people are not having this submissiveness. Even though they are avaricious, they are nonetheless superiors. Of course they are superiors. If they are killed, our souls, our spoils will be tainted with blood. He believes that his soul will be uh, tarnished or his soul will be having a red line underlined by blood. According to scriptural codes, the scriptural quotes says a teacher who engages in an ab abominable action, abandonable action. What we want to say? See, Bhakta Prabhupada Swami is an old fashioned person. He maybe he went to a school which is uh, more than Vana uh, Kalam And uh, if it is abominable action, and has lost his sense of discrimination is fit to be abandoned. Even our president uh, Abul Kalam went to Avana Kalam <laughs> And uh, you know what it, what it is? Vana Kalam Chadhu means it's a small shed, not even cow shed. It is not even in the shape of a cow shed. If the rain or uh, any wind comes, there is holiday to school. That is Vana Kalam Chadu. If a small shower is there, if a small drizzling is there, no school. Bhishma and Drona were obliged to, to take the side of Duryodhana because of his financial assistance. Although they should not have accepted such a position simply on financial considerations. Under the circumstances, they have lost the respectability of teachers. But Arjuna thinks that nevertheless they remain his superiors and therefore to enjoy material profits after killing them would mean to enjoy spoils tainted with blood. As the Macbeth says, speaks to his wife Lady Macbeth uh, about King Duncan who was killed by uh, the, a big plot nurtured by Lady Macbeth. And it is a sketch to take the throne of King Duncan. Even they were saying this. How can they enjoy spoils tainted with blood? The dagger only is tainted with blood. But the souls and spoils also will be of course tainted with blood. Nor do we know which is better conquering them or being conquered by them. Uh, Draupadi says a famous line. Tanodi nannodena, nannodi tanodena. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I was a kid at that time when I saw that film, Urvasi Sharada. <laughs> I laughed like anything. In that hall, in that theater, everybody is watching me. <laughs> hey, girl, why you are laughing? A little girl is laughing like anything. <laughs> the sons of Dhritarashtra whom we killed, we should not care to leave are now standing before us on this battlefield. See, in Kurukshetra also we are having nice time, drinks with fine people like you. Arjuna did not know whether he should fight and risk unnecessary violence, although fighting is the duty of the Kshatriyas, or whether he should refrain and leave by begging. If he did not conquer the enemy, Begging would be his only means of subsistence. Experience hai. Nor was there certainty of victory because either side might emerge victorious. Even if victory awaited them and their cause was justified. Still if the sons of Dhritarashtra died in battle, 
it would be very difficult to live in their absence under the circumstances that would be another kind of defeat for them it is double defeat double promotion to go to swarga swarga loka all these considerations by arjuna definitely prove that he was not only a great devotee of the lord but uh, that he was also highly enlightened and had complete control over his mind and senses his desire to live by begging although he was born in the real or royal household is another sign of detachment arjuna being a noble and royal uh, household he is born in the royal household uh, hails from a noble family is another sign of detachment because he desires to live by begging not by fighting adi oka lord anti apyayata aa devendrudu devatalake devudu aina devendrudu yokka aashirvadam goppa manasu goppa aashirvadam goppa blessing goppa birth goppa royal noble blood ala untundi ela aithe surya putrudu karnudiki నేచురల్ గా కవచ కుండలాలు ఉన్నాయి అలా ఈ అర్జునుడికి ఒకలాంటి ఆప్యాయత ఒకలాంటి అనురాగం నా హోరోస్కోప్ చూసి అందరూ పెద్ద పెద్ద గొప్ప నాడీ రీడర్స్ అంటారు అర్జునుడే ఆడవైశ్యం వేసుకొని పుట్టాడు సో డిటాచ్మెంట్ అనేది ఆయనకి ఎంత నోబుల్ గా రాయల్ గా వచ్చేసిందంటే ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ ఫైటింగ్ విత్ పీపుల్ హీ థింక్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ బెటర్ టు attachment of detachments detachments of attachments and the formula apply cheyadu he was truly virtuous as these qualities combined with his faith in the words of instruction of sri krishna his spiritual master indicate it is concluded uh, that arjuna was quite fit for liberation just it is indication it indicates unless the senses are controlled there is no chance of elevation to the platform of knowledge unless you control your mouth and uh, all uh, i mean everything and become dumb deaf and blind uh, knowledge uh, attainment attaining knowledge is little difficult and without knowledge and devotion there is no chance of liberation chance ill arjuna was competent in all these attributes over and above his enormous attributes in his material relationships pakkod gaadu uluchi ni kuda preminchadu now i am confused about my duty and have lost all composure because of weakness in this condition i am asking you to tell me clearly what is best for me ante suppose weak ga unnanu a vitamin a b vitamin a d vitamin a or multi vitamin <laughs> now i am your disciple i am your patient you are my doctor and a soul surrendered unto you yes please instruct me i got admitted in your hospital nursing home <laughs> so the purport says by nature's own way the complete system of material activities is a source of perplexity for everyone in every step there is perplexity and therefore it behooves one to approach a bona fide spiritual master ever dagara padta all dagara hoyu injection lu mandulu maakulu adi vaidyalu pasara mandulu iskokandi it needs a bona fide spiritual master ante baaga mbbs pass ayi md kuda pass ayi aa vicharam chese shravani laga ఒక వ్యభిచారిణికి పుట్టిన అర్ముఖం ఇంకో వ్యభిచారిణికి తాళి కట్టినటువంటి డాక్టర్ డాక్టర్ అర్ముఖం శ్రావణి లాగా అలాంటి బ్రోతల్స్ ప్రాస్టిట్యూట్స్ చెడిపోయిన వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళు ఎంబీబీఎస్ చదివినా అది ఎల్కేజీ కూడా కాదు అలాంటి మొద నష్టపోళ్ళ దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళకుండా కొడాలి విజయ్ కుమార్ గారి దగ్గరికి కొడాలి విజయలక్ష్మి లాంటి మంచి బోనఫైడ్ డాక్టర్ దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళాలి వాట్ హీ సెయింగ్ ఈస్ ఎ బోనఫైడ్ స్పిరిచువల్ మాస్టర్ హూ కెన్ గివ్ వన్ ప్రాపర్ గైడెన్స్ ఫర్ executing the purpose of life all vedic literatures advise us to approach a bona fide spiritual master to get free from the perplexities of life which happen without our desire they are like a forest fire that somehow blazes without being set by anyone similarly the world situation is such that perplexities of life automatically appear without our wanting such confusion 
no one wants fire and yet it takes place and we become perplexed the vedic wisdom therefore advises that in order to solve the perplexities of life and to understand the science of the solution one must approach a spiritual master who is in the disciplic succession a person with a bona fide spiritual master is supposed to know everything one should not therefore remain in material perplexities but should approach a spiritual master this is the purport of this verse who is the man in material perplexities it is he who does not understand the problems of life in the gar garga upanishad do you know who is garga mahamuni garga mahamuni is the person when shri rama was doing ashwamedha yaga he took the entire respects and uh, garga mahamuni is the first and foremost one in all the uh, garga gotrams in all the gotras of brahmins and uh, well read people then it is uh, after garga it is uh, uh, think uh, after garga it is uh, sandeepa i think uh, sandeepa sandilya gotram the garga gotram is the first and foremost one after them it is sandilya gotram in the garga upanishad the perplexed man is described as follows he is a miserly man or a miserly man who does not solve the problems of life as a human and who thus quits this world like the cats and dogs without understanding the science of realization it's not bharadwaja gotra gautam bharadwaja is a bastard and his wife and children must be killed urgently on the spot like nishtala venkat and his wife sumitra prostitutes thieves beggars their children must be perished into ashes urgently they are such uh, nuisance to the society this human form of life is a most valuable asset for the living entity who can utilize it uh solving the problems of life therefore one who does not utilize this opportunity properly is a miser like i told you gautam gotra gautama bharadwaja bharadwaja also is a gotra gautama also is a gotra so gautama gotra also is next best to garga gotra but what is the use if you wear a armani suit what is the use you should be nice no it's like people who are beggars prostitutes and thieves like all these people and uh, wearing clothes that also stolen from my house nenu ichina koti rupayalu kanchi pattu cheeralu meer kattukoni pelli petal meeda koochunte meer manushula current unna pratyada di godrala ivi dwarala avuthi asal knowledge unna pratyada dani kadukuni puttin pillalu sevalu elta urgently on this spot immediately with their own tricks also on the other hand there is the brahmana or he who is intelligent enough to utilize this body to solve all the problems of life <laughs> now you understand who is a real brahmin perfect brahmin the trapanas or miserly persons ante kul kolatal of course current to nada vallu sumitra laga and uh, they waste their time vallu andar tho padukoni sbi lo pedda job techukoni ella ba ప్రభ అండ్ సరిత ఆర్ ప్రాస్టిట్యూట్స్ వాళ్ళ బ్రదర్స్ సిస్టర్స్ కొడుకులు ఫ్యామిలీ అంత బ్రోకల్స్ థీప్స్ బెగ్గర్స్ వాళ్ళందరూ బూడిదై కాలు మస్ బూడిదై పేలి చేస్తారు ఇహపరాల్ వాళ్ళు అసలు వాళ్ళు చేసిన అన్ని ట్రిక్లు వాళ్ళకి కరెంట్ ఉందంట పవర్ ఉందంట కొంచెం సిగ్గు కూడా ఉండాలి వాళ్ళందరూ నాశనం అయి బూడిద అవుతారు దే వేస్ట్ యర్ టైమ్ ఇన్ బీయింగ్ ఓవర్లీ ఎఫెక్షనేట్ ఫర్ ఫ్యామిలీ సొసైటీ కంట్రీ ఎక్సెట్రా ఇన్ ద మెటీరియల్ కన్సెప్షన్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ అంటే వాళ్ళకు వచ్చే లాభాల కోసం వాళ్ళకు వచ్చే ప్రాఫిట్లు బెనిఫిట్లు అడ్వాంటేజెస్ కోసం వన్ ఈజ్ ఆఫన్ అటాచ్ టు యూర్ ఫ్యామిలీ లైఫ్ నేమ్లీ టు వైఫ్ చిల్డ్రన్ అండ్ అదర్ మెంబర్స్ ఆన్ ద బేసిస్ ఆఫ్ స్కిన్ డిజీజ్ ద క్రపణ థింగ్స్ దట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ హీ ఈజ్ ఏబుల్ టు ప్రొటెక్ట్ హిస్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ డెత్ ఆర్ ద క్రపణ థింగ్స్ దట్ హిస్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఆర్ సొసైటీ కెన్ సేవ్ హిమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వర్జ్ ఆఫ్ డెత్ సచ్ ఫ్యామిలీ అటాచ్మెంట్ కెన్ బి ఫౌండ్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ ద లోవర్ యానిమల్స్ అక్కడికి జంతువులు పక్షులు అవి కూడా దే హూ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఆల్సో ఆర్ లైక్ దాట్ బీయింగ్ ఇంటెలిజెంట్ అర్జున కుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ హీస్ ఎఫెక్షన్ ఫర్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ అండ్ హీస్ విష్ టు ప్రొటెక్ట్ దెమ్ ఫ్రమ్ డెత్ ఫర్ ద కాజెస్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ కోప్లెక్సిటీస్ ఆల్దో హీ కుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ హీస్ డ్యూటీ టు ఫైట్ వాజ్ ఎ వెయిటింగ్ హెమ్ 
still on account of miserly or miserly weakness he could not discharge the duties he is therefore asked i mean asking lord krishna the supreme spiritual master to make a definite solution he offers himself to krishna as a disciple he wants to stop friendly talks talks between the master and the disciple are serious and now arjuna wants to talk very seriously before the recognized spiritual master krishna is therefore the original spiritual master of the science of bhagavad gita and arjuna is the first disciple for understanding the gita how arjuna understands the bhagavad gita is stated in the gita itself and yet foolish mundane scholars explain that one need not submit to, to krishna as a person but to the unborn within krishna there is no difference between krishna's within and unborn and many other illusions or illusions and interpretations of the scholars who are having current and knowledge and without current and knowledge also they can be perfect and one who has no sense of this understanding is the greatest fool in trying to understand bhagavad gita i can find no means to drive away this grief which is drying up my senses i will not be able to destroy it even if i win an unrivaled kingdom on the earth with sovereignty like that of the demigods in heaven although arjuna was putting forward so many arguments based on knowledge of the principles of religion and moral codes it appears that he was unable to solve his real problem without the help of the spiritual master lord shri krishna he could understand that his so called knowledge was useless in driving away his problems which were drying up his whole existence and it was impossible for him to solve such perplexities perplexities without the help of a spiritual master like lord krishna academic knowledge scholarship high position etc are all use i mean anukunt narandar they are useless in solving the problems of life help can only be given by a spiritual master like krishna therefore the conclusion is that a spiritual master who is 100% krishna conscious is the bona fide spiritual master for he can solve the problems of life lord chaitanya said that one who is master in the science of krishna consciousness regardless of his social position is the real spiritual master it does not matter whether a person is a vipra that is learned scholar in vedic wisdom or is born in a lower family or is in the renounced order of life if he is master in the science of krishna he is the perfect and bona fide spiritual master so without being a master in the science of krishna consciousness no one is a bona fide spiritual master it is also said in vedic literatures a scholarly brahmana expert in all subjects of vedic knowledge is unfit to become a spiritual master without being a vaishnava or expert in the science of krishna consciousness but a person born in a family of a lower caste can become a spiritual master if he is a vaishnava or krishna conscious very good the problems of material existence birth old age disease and death cannot be counteracted by accumulation of wealth and economic development in many parts of the world there are states which are replete with all facilities of life which are full of wealth and economically developed yet the problems of material existence are still present they are seeking peace in different ways but they can achieve real happiness only if they can consult krishna or the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam which constitute the science of krishna or the bona fide representative of krishna the man in krishna consciousness if economic development and material comforts could drive away one's lamentations for family social national or international all these things they are in abrities then arjuna could not have said that even an unrivaled kingdom on earth or supremacy like that of the demigods in the heavenly planets would not be able to drive away his lamentations the international inebrities national or international inebrities social family economic inebrities ante unbalancing equalities lain at twenty uh, unequalities the international inebrities so all these are uh, driving away the lamentations any gods in the heavenly planets would not be able to drive away his lamentations but all these are trying to drive away his mental peace
so i think you should apply this sentences again and again and try to understand by owning them he sought therefore refuge in krishna consciousness ante dikkule nodiki devude dikkulaga anni trains ellipothe general compartment lo ellatuga ee oka krishna conscious lone refuge and that is the right path for peace and harmony అరే నాకు ఇంతకాలం తెలీదు నాకు ఇన్ని రోజులు తెలీదు ఆల్ దీస్ డేస్ ఐ డోంట్ నో ఇట్నే దీని అమ్మకు మాలూమ్ బీన్ అయ్యే కి దెర్ ఈస్ అ జనరల్ కంపార్ట్మెంట్ అండ్ దట్ ఆల్సో లేడీస్ కంపార్ట్మెంట్ ఈస్ దేర్ అండ్ ఇన్ దట్ సచ్ ఎ ప్రొటెక్షన్ బై గవర్నమెంట్ పోలీస్ ఆఫీసర్స్ రైల్వే పోలీస్ ఆఫీసర్స్ అండ్ టికెట్ కలెక్టర్స్ అండ్ స్టేషన్ మాస్టర్స్ సో మచ్ ఆఫ్ అటెన్షన్ అరే వా క్యా బాత్ అయి అవరతో నేకే నాతే ఇతనా కుచ్ హే బహుత్ ఖూబ్ so sometimes it is necessary to get problems then only we will understand there is something called nail ticket general compartment yes and uh, see the man in krishna consciousness is a bona fide representative of krishna that means automatically we become authority it is like power of attorney yes so see all these things we get so many i mean uh, plus points so many power projects he sought therefore refuge in krishna consciousness and that is the right path for peace and harmony see we got mental peace also not only protection madrata security rakshana economic development or supremacy over the world can be finished at any moment by the catalyst catal catalysm or cataclysm see you know about a catalyst one which improves the chemical reaction Uh, catalyst is something which agni lo ajvam posinattu it it uh, you know speeds up the chemical reaction so it is something like of material nature and uh, we can understand who are the people who act like uh, cat- catalyst the bastard arunakar rao and his wife gujjamma bargavi and their children must be perished into ashes they are like that even elevation into a higher higher planetary situation for example yes we are talking about those people and now seeking a place in the moon also say those people who are unfit to live in a village are living in los angeles and now they are planning to go to moon so now seeking a place in the moon planet those men they also can be finished at one stroke no need to read 29th verse of surah yasin one single blast <laughs> noida lo rendu twin buildings padipoyinattu ga padipotharu vallandaru vaalla pillalu abargavi bujjama ratna kumari prudvi pravin kumaru vaalla pillalu kukkalu kukkalu jachinattu chestaru kukka chaavu purgul padi so they all can be finished at one stroke even if you utter the name of shri krishna the bhagavad gita confirms this when the results of pious activities are finished one falls down again from the peak of happiness to the lowest status of life many politicians of the world have fallen down in that way such downfalls only constitute more causes for lamentation therefore if we want to curb lamentation for good then we have to take shelter of krishna as arjuna is seeking to do so arjuna asked krishna to solve his problem indefinitely and that is the way of krishna consciousness sanjaya said having spoken thus arjuna chastiser of enemies told krishna govinda i shall not fight and fell silent dhritarashtra must have been very glad to understand that arjuna was not going to fight and was instead leaving the battlefield for the begging <laughs> begging profession <laughs> ఎలా ఉందంటే అన్ అంబానీ ధీరుబాయ్ అంబానీస్ ఎల్డర్ సన్ ముఖేష్ అంబానీ బిర్లా టెంపుల్ మెట్ల మీద అడుక్కు తినే ప్రొఫెషన్కి సిద్ధమైనట్టుగా బట్ సంజయ్ ఆర్ డిసప్పాయింటెడ్ హిమ్ అగైన్ ఇన్ రిలేటింగ్ దట్ అర్జున వాజ్ కంపీటెంట్ టు కిల్ హిజ్ ఎనిమీస్ అండ్ ఫరంతప ఆల్ దో అర్జున వాజ్ ఫర్ ద టైమ్ బీయింగ్ ఓవర్ వెల్డ్ విత్ ఫాల్స్ గ్రీఫ్ డ్యూ టు ఫ్యామిలీ ఎఫెక్షన్ he surrendered into krishna the supreme spiritual master as a disciple this indicated that he would soon be free from the false lamentation resulting from family affection and would be enlightened 
with perfect knowledge of self realization or krishna consciousness and would then surely fight thus dhritarashtra's joy would be frustrated since arjuna would be enlightened by krishna and would fight to the end sloka 10 translates something like this or descendant of bharata or bharata at that time krishna smiling in the midst of both the armies spoke the following words to the grief stricken arjuna the talk was going on between intimate friends namely the rishikesha and the gudakesha as friends both of them were on the same level but one of them voluntarily became a student of the other krishna was smiling because a friend had chosen to become a disciple as lord of all he